What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a super exciting Liverpool transfer news video because David Ornstein dropped a bomb saying that Liverpool are actively pursuing a deal to sign Lenny Euro from Lille and it doesn't get more official and it doesn't get more reliable than David Ornstein. So Liverpool and also Manchester United are seeing Real Madrid as still the favourites for Real Euro, but we are trying everything, we are pushing really hard for this 18 year old centre back who is a generational talent according to many football experts and French football experts especially Lenny Euro is only 18 years old but he already played a brilliant season for Lille he was ever present pretty much in their side and he is an absolutely fantastic centre back way beyond his years he plays like a very mature player it is viewed as a very unique market opportunity by Liverpool that even for 50 million pounds Lenny Euro wouldn't be overpriced I think it will come down to Lenny Euro's personal decision because easily Liverpool, Man United and Real Madrid can pay the 50 million asking price from Lille. So it will come down to Lenny Euro. Where does he see his career uh, best developing? And I think Liverpool is the best choice for him. And I'm not just saying because I'm a Liverpool fan, but because at Liverpool he will have a brilliant opportunity to get a starting spot. Konate is injury prone, Kwanzaa is only 20, 21 year old, so he's very inexperienced. Virgil van Dijk, 32 years old, he's getting older. Joe Gomez will play as a backup right back, backup left backs, maybe backup centre back. But yeah, Lenny Euro, if he stays fit and if he plays well, he could cement a place in the starting lineup as early as next season for Liverpool, while if he goes to Real Madrid, there will be insane competition for places. Real Madrid have some amazing array of uh, centre-backs, and Man United are just a club going nowhere. Even with the in Ineos uh, like part ownership takeover, they are making decisions as dumb as they were when, they, when the Glazers were in charge. I mean, keeping Eric Ten Hag after finishing 8th and Man United having their worst season in, in uh, like 25-30 years says it all really. Paris Saint-Germain are also keen on Lenny Euro and Liverpool fans are already fed up of not just Real Madrid beating us on the pitch, beating us in two Champions League finals recently and knocking us out in the Champions League like four times. We got knocked out by Real Madrid, I think, in the Champions League during Jurgen Klopp's years. But again, now we are getting outbid again in the transfer market. We pursued Jude Bellingham for many years and he went to Real Madrid. And you know what? Real Madrid are the biggest club in the world. So if Lenny Euro decides to go to Real Madrid, Liverpool can't really do anything else. And this confirms the reports from France a few weeks ago that uh, Liverpool were after Lenny Euro. But I'm also here hearing that Lenny Euro was Real Madrid's guest at the Champions League final, which says that they are already building a relationship with uh, Lenny Euro. And when I saw that, I, I wrote this transfer off, really, because if Real Madrid really want a player, they usually get the player. Uh, I mean, Lenny Euro, if, he, if, they, if Real Madrid promise Lenny Euro that he will get a starting spot, maybe in one or two years, and he can develop until there, I mean, it's a no-brainer that Lenny Euro will go to Real Madrid. But I really, really hope that Liverpool somehow can pull this transfer off because it would be a fantastic ex-acquisition. It, it would be an incredible signing. But if Real Madrid pay the cash that Lille want, I think he's off to Real Madrid. I just want to be brutally honest with you guys. Also, probably he wouldn't be a guaranteed starter uh, even at Liverpool. He would have to fight for his place. Uh, at Real Madrid definitely he wouldn't get a regular starting spot. At Man United he probably would be a regular starter given how awful Manchester United's centre-back options are. And there, there could be a scenario where whoever signs Lenny Euro loans him back to Lille for another season just for him to grow and develop. Like William Saliba when he was signed by Arsenal they loaned him back for one more year, he got more experienced and when he came back to Arsenal, I mean for the first time as a full signing, William Saliba since then has been ever present in the Arsenal uh, starting lineup and maybe that's what uh, you know Liverpool could do, um, we will see. 
Fabrizio Mano said that Lenny Oro prefers Real Madrid, but the fact that David Ornstein is reporting that Liverpool are really pushing hard for the player means that he, we have a chance to get him. But also, with Lenny Oro having one year left on his contract, you could argue maybe Real Madrid or Liverpool could uh, like wait for another six months and sign him on a pre-contract agreement. And I'm not sure with uh, you know the very strict financial fair peer rules in La Liga and with Liverpool with Real Madrid signing Mbappe, would uh, Real Madrid pay 50 million for an 18 year old who only has one year left on his contract? I mean, they have a lot of money, but uh, La Liga are very strict with their wage uh, budget and financial fair pay rules. And what is very interesting is that David Ornstein is saying that uh, given how rare such a talent is, and very, very rarely you get a generational talent like Eleni Euro, who is available on the market with having one year left on his contract, so you don't have to pay like 100 million for him. And uh, Liverpool have made the more, more concrete advances so far, and Liverpool are all prepared to offer comparative or even more favorable conditions for Lenny Oro than Real Madrid but there is an anticipation that Real Madrid if they step forward they will get the player Liverpool view Lenny Oro as a very unique market opportunity rather than a fundamental part of their recruitment plans because Liverpool are not absolutely desperate to sign a centre-back but we are absolutely desperate to sign Lenny Euro because he is such a unique, brilliant player at just 18 years old. He would be like Liverpool centre-back for the next potentially even 12, 10 years. What's crazy about Yanni, Lenny Euro, as good as he is here right now, in 10 years time, in a decade's time, he will be still only 28 years old. So even in a decade, Lenny Euro would be in his prime. Right now, of course, he's not in his prime, he's still a developing player, but imagine how good he can become. But if Real Madrid sign another talent like Lenny Euro, their team is already absolutely stacked, then they will be just favorites for, for absolutely every competition that they enter. So Lenny Euro played an absolutely key role in Lille having the joint third best defensive record in the French league. They only conceded 34 goals. He's a more old-fashioned defender. He was often the deepest player in Lille's back line. Lenny Euro recorded relatively low defensive engagements, only 1.2 interceptions and tackles per 90 minutes. So 1.2 interceptions, 1.2 tackles per 90 minutes. But he often puts fires out when he has to defend. Euro was most safe, safe with his uh, you know, running forward, completing 92% of his passes and he attempted 55 carries per 90 minutes without progressing the ball much. He does not make a lot of mistakes. He only dis got dispossessed 0.03 times, which is absolutely in insane as an 18 year old. And he also only committed 0.03 errors per 90 minutes. Wow. I mean, that means he commits one error every 30 games and he got dispossessed once every 30 games. Do you know how absolutely insane that is for an 18 year old player? Wow, that blows my mind. I mean, 18 year old center backs usually commit a lot more errors and get dispossessed a lot more often because they are still young and immature, emotional, they are not very calm and, and composed and they are not experienced. Yet Lenny Oro possesses experience and calmness way behind his ears. And Euro is likely to excel in a side with a more expensive center back alongside him. He's risk averse with his ball progression and he often stays deep. A risk taking partner who is more willing to progress the ball forward will likely complement Euro well. So Liverpool will have to take that into account. And I have to cut the video short because I'm traveling, I'm picking up my wife and visiting her family. So this video is very, very short. But tonight the Euros are starting, so I'm really excited about that. And I will make some content around the Euro 2024 tournament. So come on Hungary, I'm really looking forward to the Hungary-Switzerland game tomorrow as well. Thanks for watching guys, more content is coming to my channel on the weekend. See you later, goodbye.